And we're live. Welcome to the 37th Sprint Review Call of the Common Stack, uh, where every two weeks we come to you hot and fresh with all the action. And this has been a very action-filled uh, sprint for sure. Some major moves happening here. Uh, let me see if I can share my screen and we can get this party started. Da -da, review this one. Yeah, the biggest news, in my opinion, at least that I'm involved with, is the CSA board meeting, so much action happened. Uh, so many things that we've been working on behind the scenes have finally been pushed through. Uh, we have another board meeting today where we'll, we'll finish off some other interesting stuff, but you'll have to watch next week to hear what happens there. Because we only try to talk about the stuff that happened in, that already happened in this call. Uh, so the biggest thing is that we're changing the way membership renewals work in the trusted seed. Uh, there, instead of them being having an expiration date, we're actually going to have it be like when you, it's more like Netflix. When you pay dues, you get a membership for a year and your membership will expire a year from the last time you paid $450 in dues. And you can always uh, extend your membership uh, and pay $450 at any time. And that'll just add, change your membership date from that, uh, from whatever it was before to a year from when you last paid. So that's, that's the big one. Uh, another big one is that we're moving we're changing locations we're moving down the street basically from zoom to zurich uh because it was uh we wanted to get a new address uh so and it was just a lot cheaper to do it in zurich than zoom so we moved to uh we're moving to uh zurich which is nice uh also the trusted seed is uh adding a new member she's right here ivy oh the new member of the board yeah uh, so that was a big one. And now uh, we also have uh, huge news. We've been formally called the Common Stack Association. And now, uh, and, and we always had these kind of two groups. We had the Common Stack Association, the Legal Swiss Association, and we had the Common Stack DAO. But the Common Stack DAO, uh, the governance hasn't fully formed yet and, and hasn't really been pushed because we were really focused on the TC, honestly. Uh, and, and now, uh, but there's still like so much confusion between the legal Swiss entity and the actual DAO to DAO work that's happening. So we're fixing that and formally changing the legal name to the trusted seed, uh, which is super cool. And uh, there's lots of comments in this. Uh, if you want to see the board meeting doc, uh, about about these changes and what we want to be careful about. Uh, and along with that change, we actually uh, also are changing our DAO because the, the, the DAO or the, the Aragon DAO, uh, you, um, uh, the tech that we're using, the Aragon DAO is called the CS DAO. So we have to change that. We're also going to change the name of the CStack token. It's going to be the trust token. And we actually already have our trusted C DAO deployed which is cool. So uh, we, we're just, uh, so now we have aragon.onehive.org slash trusted seed up here. And so we, we have a new Aragon DAO. The only thing we need now is uh, we're still working to install the trust token. And, uh, and so you'll see more about that in the next round for sure. Uh, and we're also going to change how we pay dues. We're going to pay dues on XDAI and uh, change the old DAP. We're going to build an, uh, a new DAP of sorts uh, actually, we're not going to build a new DAP for, per se uh, from the front end. We're actually just going to use Giveth because Giveth gives everybody who pays dues 75% uh, back in give tokens streamed over five years. And that's just too sweet of a deal. Why build a DAP when we can just use theirs? Uh, and, and yeah, and so those are the big announcements. So much happened in this board meeting. In the next board meeting that happens today, we're going to talk about um, making sure that the, the $10,000 legal uh, in, um, extra money that covers legal fees in case anyone has a problem is, uh, is robust. And we're also going to talk about bringing in qualifying DAOs. So major action from the board meetings. Uh, the other big stuff that happened, uh, this is more in the TEC, but it's, it's important for all commons, uh, is how do we do liquidity? And there's this really cool uh, initiative from, uh, from OneHive called Water, which is like five token swaps in one. Basically five different communities will send in a bunch of money into a multi-sig and then we'll print another token and just pair it against all of those, uh, all of that money that goes into that multi-sig. So it's effectively like five token swaps in one and we create a token that becomes an index token 
of those tokens. So it's a really interesting dynamic that's never been done before for token swaps. Really cool DAO to DAO proposal that we're really excited to uh, be a part of. Right now, it's just barely passing though. Actually, if uh, 12,000 to TEC tokens vote no, this will not pass right now uh, unless, unless people change their votes. And, uh, and, and we're also implementing the new governance system uh, or, or like uh, we, um, yeah. Anyway, lots of cool stuff happening. If you have TEC tokens and somehow you see this uh, before, before we publish, uh, then, then you should really go vote. I don't think that's going to happen though. So anyway, uh, thank you for the time and I'll pass it to Tam to tell us what's going on in, in the Commons Prize in Amsterdam. <laughs> cool. So, um, yeah, I agree. I mean, you come up with the best names, the balls in your court. It's always, always a great one. And I can't wait to hear you describe it to everyone as well. Um, so I guess I'm going to start off with the Commons Prize and I'll share my screen now. Uh, so, of course, um, last week we, I, we, last sprint, sorry, um, we said the Commons Prize um, was coming and the Commons Prize is launched. Um, and the timeline is, <laughs> yeah, I want to jump up and down. <laughs> uh, and, you know, uh, we opened nominations on May 6th and we, uh, we have 12 nominations so far. So uh, we're slowly sort of building more and more nominations for communities and resources um, that uh, would benefit from having a commons economy. You know, we bring the set of protocols. Uh, a, it's a, we um, have, what do we have another two weeks until the, the prize closes? So there's still a lot of time to nominate a community for the commons prize. We close this and say and um, share the announcement page on the medium, the common stack medium. You can um, find out all of the details that you need to, to know about eligibility requirements for nominations. Specifically, it has to be a community that has a, a shared cause, supporting public goods, some basic familiarity with Web3 so as not to delay the long deploying of the commons for the onboarding onto Web3, uh, committed to the partnership with Trusted Seed and um, have resources to actually follow through with the deployment, which is about nine months for the community and the stakeholders. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel to reach out to Usama or I. Uh, or anyone in the common stack team, anyone in our, on our Discord server. Um, also, this is a week that, oh, here's the nomination form too. Let me see if I can. Yeah, the nomination form is just commonstack.org, the commons prize. So uh, if you have a, a community that you think would benefit, please uh, nominate them and reach out to us. Um, so I was in Amsterdam all week for the four conferences that are here. So it's the Taoist Global Governance Gathering, uh, Shelling Point, DevConnect in East Amsterdam. This is what the DevConnect co-working space looks like. It's pretty surreal. This is only one quarter of the space. Actually, the space is enormous. This is one of the one of the uh, big rooms. One of the few. One of the many rooms that they have, and all the spaces perfect for a bunch of people to just get together and hack on a bunch of things, which means that there are so many productive collaborations this um, this uh, this week here in this space, not only with the, you know, Christopher and, and Max and Maria and the people that are also here from Common Stack, but also Andre from Deep Work, a bunch of the people at Prime DAO, um, uh, Angela from TE Academy, the TEC crew, of course, Chewy Wonka, Jeremy Lean, Zeptimus, everyone that was able to be here for from TEC. Um, I want to. Uh, I guess I want to say, yeah. So uh, I had the chance to give the talk at the Taoist Beyond State and Market. It's linked in our YouTube notes. So uh, I. It's probably my favorite talk that I've given so far. Uh, and I think that it explains a lot about um, why Common Stack is doing what we're doing, actually. You know, it describes our mission and the, the reason that we want to see uh, more commons and to facilitate uh, more communities able to use our technical stack and our cultural build to have a robust and regenerative commons for their public good. 
And um, I guess I also want to say, uh, or I'll add uh, Griff to say some phrase at the end for the people who organized the Taoist conference. It was really extraordinary. Uh, two days of a lot of, um, you know, fostering, you know, communications and introducing these spaces where people can collaborate and, and learn more about each other's projects, as well as the Shelling Point, another really terrific conference. Uh, and with that, oh, and the DevConnect team for this co-working space and the free bikes, which is the best way to, to get around Amsterdam. So they've made a bunch of free bikes available to people who are on the ground here. And that has been really, really cool. Also, it's really cool because you're on the bike and it has a flag that says DevConnect on it. So as you're on the street, you're like, hey, where are you going? So it's a way to identify all of the crypto people in Amsterdam. <laughs> and start random conversations, not just in these co-working spaces, but out in the streets as well. And with that, I'll pass to Olivia. Thank you, Tam. Well, I got to share the cutest news ever. Nate had a baby. <laughs> uh, that was so beautiful too to see all his process into becoming a father and that happened. So he's been collaborating, of course, in so many fronts and the TEC um, as a co-steward of the stewards working group. And he has been um, almost single-handed uh, writing the case studies. So that means that we're having a break on the case studies development, but I'm still syncing with N. Um, who has been helping him a lot to structure things and uh, to uh, make sure we're going in the best direction. So there is a lot of progress there. Uh, and he said he wants to continue focus on the case studies, even on his paternity break, according to him. So he won't get crazy. <laughs> so he really wants to do that. So it won't be like a huge break. It's just um, a few weeks probably that uh, he will be focusing on his little one. And uh, we finished the seventh uh, praise quant. So we caught up already with uh, 2022. It, it's really cool to see the new praises being quantified. Like it, 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 it's a good feeling that we're catching up a lot of uh, fresh praises, uh, fresh news. And we had yesterday our praise quant review session that we've been having every Thursday after the community call to understand how are people feeling about the quantification? What are some things we can improve? So these things I highlighted in yellow are uh, things that will become an issue for us to improve. And every session we've been doing that and improving the system little by little. And also, uh, Mitch became the steward of the reward system working group now. So Christopher is the working group lead, and he's been uh, looking into the overall product development and and guiding us towards uh, accomplishing all our goals. And Mitch is is the new steward now who is organizing um, the day by day of our operations in the working group and sharing the the news and the community call so um yeah really happy about that and here is a document that gua produced so we had an uh, she uh, she made an analysis for what is the disagreements from praise quants and and it's basically how what were the scores that people gave that were very different enough to create a disparity for us to look at? So uh, maybe one issue that one praise that someone gave a score of eight and someone else gave a score of 144. Like why did that disparity happen? So we've been analyzing that and she shared uh, this post. That's very interesting to read. And I just wanted to uh, come to our guidance really quick and see the proposals that are up for voting. So we have CAD CAD community funding that it's almost passing. 
and it's going to support the community building and development of CADCAD for the next six months. And we have comms team DAO, marketing team, uh, supporting the comms working group proposal uh, for funding of uh, all the work they've been doing there. Retroactive funding for TEC at Eat Denver. So a thousand DAI for supporting uh, the costs that the TEC had in Denver. And update fees deducted from buy and sell orders. That is a, a recurring proposal um to continue adjusting the the fees from uh from our bonding curve and finally uh juanca presented in uh the daoist in amsterdam and announced uh the date for devcon in colombia that's going to be in october 14th so there was a lot of really great uh comments about his talk and of course, gravity is so important for uh, every DAO, for conflict management being accessible for everyone is so important. And it's great to have uh, Juan carrying that flag and sharing his knowledge. And with that, I'll pass to Ivy. Thanks, Olivia. Let me just share my screen. All right. Okay, so, um. Uh, oh. Everybody see my screen? All right. Um, okay, so uh, Sprint 37. So uh, Sam and I picked the name. Um, the ball is uh, in your court. So um, in a sport, sport uh, it means that when it, uh, it's an idiom that means when it's someone to turn to, uh, it's someone's turn to make the next move. So in tennis, it means that uh, it's the uh, other person's to, uh, other person's turn to hit the ball. So I'm just going to, make it uh, very uh, quick and simple, uh, the story behind the sprint name. So um, the past sprint, our team focused on encouraging our members to make the next uh, the next move. So like uh, after our announcement of the Commons Prize, so we encourage everyone to, uh, it's now your turn to, to nominate your community to uh, the Commons Prize. And uh, we also encouraged our members to renew their uh, trusted membership and to uh and also uh transit the tra transition from uh Dijon to region so um uh speaking of a uh, Dijon to region um yesterday we had our april uh and ama so um get inspired by our panelists on uh how to transition from a uh, Dijon to uh to region so uh we invited Rivati from region foundation um kevin seagraves from uh, public goods coalition Lauren from Give It and Emmys from Nemus to share their perspectives on uh, the concept of uh, funneling the uh, Dijon energy into the region space. So um, if you missed it, uh, the recording of the AMA is, uh, is already available on our YouTube channel. And then also in comms, uh, we published the uh, article on uh, renew, uh, uh, renewing your trusted seed membership. So um, you can read all about the details on uh, how to renew your uh, membership, uh, uh, trusted membership in this uh, Medium blog post. So uh, thanks to Osama for uh, this write-up. And then um, also, uh, yeah, and then on um, TEC side, um, I finished, uh, so the, the transparency working group is uh, still working on the audit and I already finished my part, which is the, uh, uh, processes in the TEC. So um, once uh, this document is uh, is final, we can read uh, all about the processes, the current processes that uh, the TEC uh, has. And uh, while um, NT, ZT, and uh, Ratio also finished uh, are still are also uh, also finished their parts, but uh, we're just waiting for the graphics. So Efra is working on the uh, graphics for the transparency audit. So this document is very important because it is one way to show uh, how transparent the TEC is in terms of uh, and different um, aspects of the uh, community. And then also in TEC, uh, we already distributed the uh, retroactive bonus to, uh, so the, to the previous uh, legal working group of contributors. So part of the uh, funding proposal is to uh, uh, have a retroactive bonus that's worth um, 2,000 rep XDI in TEC tokens. So uh, we bought uh, TEC uh, on the uh, augmented bond curve 
and then uh, we distributed them to the uh, among the uh, uh, previous legal working group contributors, Santi, Sean, Marina, Anya, and uh, Pablo. And you can read about the updates, uh, the update on this um, uh, transact the transactions in this uh, forum post, and uh, uh, also they are documented in this uh, fund tracker. So that's it from me, and I pass it to uh, Maria. Thank you, Ivy. Uh, I'm very excited to be here in Amsterdam with part of the team. I wish we could be all of, of, uh, of the team here, but yeah, it has been very excited. Uh, I had a kind of a vacation last week, <laughs> but I got sick and I, my praise to Sam who took, who took care of me at the Barcelona house, at, at the given house. Uh, but I'm getting better now and having fun. I have been meeting a lot of members of the Trusted Seed here, and and I don't have much to, to talk about this print because of the vacation and my traveling, but I do have some numbers. So uh, since the last sprint, we had one more activation. Now we have we are uh, 348 members of the Trusted Seed, and so we had uh, 11 applications since the the last sprint. Also, the process for renewals of the memberships is open. Uh, as you know, there are current uh, terms and conditions says that the membership expires in March 31st, but we uh, added an expansion and the new deadline to renew your trusted seat application uh, membership is June 30th. If you haven't renewed, please come and uh, go to the DAP and members.commonstack.foundation. Uh, you can go to the DAP and renew, uh, pay renewal dues. You click there and you will be renewing your trusted team membership for one more year. Also, you will be contributing to our mission. And, um, and you also get an early bird co-op. <laughs> an early seed for us. So, any I have to say is is the most beautiful co-op I have seen. So, go ahead and renew your membership, and I hope to see you. Uh, if you are a member of the Trusted Seed and you are in Amsterdam or in Vienna, because after Amsterdam I'm going to Vienna to the Crypto Commons Hub uh, Refion Conference. Uh, please come say hi, and I'm available for any uh, questions, concerns or collaborations uh, for, the, for the membership. Uh, with that, I'll pass it to Gina. Hey, yes. <laughs> That's my turn. Yay. And I have two great things to share with you guys. So the first of all is, um, let me share my screen. Is with, uh, we had a great, Commons Prize AMA. During this uh, MA, our town explained how to participate in the Commons Prize, and she provided us all the details regarding to the timeline and about the criteria eligibility for uh, being part of this uh, great initiative that we have. Now that we um, have this great experience with a TEC. We are trying to find this uh, the next community, the next commons to work uh, with a commons stack team and to do leverage all the knowledge, all the uh, experience we gather uh, during the whole process of uh, uh, create together, co-create this community that is, that is now the TEC. So if you who didn't uh, uh, hear this uh, Commons Prize MNA, it's available right now, it's in, on, in our Twitter uh, right now, so you can play the recording and hear all the details. And the next thing is I received an invitation uh, from One Hive uh, TV Radio yesterday. <laughs> it was amazing. It is. It is. It was an interview in Spanish, 
So I talk a lot about the common stack and the common price and all the great uh, things we have uh, right now in our trusted city, the community, all the things that are going on right now, but in Spanish. So yay, <laughs> our community that um, can um, enjoy about uh, what what's going on in common stack in Spanish. Hey, you have to hear this interview so you can get involved uh, with us and with the trusted seat. And Maria was there too. She was there. <laughs> she had the opportunity to jump in and talk a little bit more and helping me with uh, some questions that I, I didn't have the answer. But hey, things happen. <laughs> and thank you so much, uh, one half, uh, for this opportunity to talk about the Commons Stack and the Trusted Seed uh, Gardener um, job. So that's for me. And with this, I pass it to Sama. Oh, uh, thanks, Ini. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, for the first, I will talk about the renewal article, but it's. Uh, but during this period, we have worked on trusted seed renewal article. Uh, so yeah, for those who activated their memberships uh, in 2021, so you can renew your membership. Uh, so yeah, I want to talk about uh, common prize nominations. So uh, for for common prize nominations, we have received a lot of submissions. Uh, some of the submissions uh, don't have uh, videos. So uh, and a lot of people had uh, question uh, questions around uh, the guidelines. So about the gu guidelines, uh, we've would recommend it not to be too long uh five minutes or less and there's no specific directions for the video uh it's up it's up to you uh, to decide uh, in which format you can present uh, your community uh, in the best way possible. And you can share the link, uh, uh, YouTube link, uh, Loom, or any other video platform with us. So the purpose of the video is to uh, get an idea about your com community uh, commitment to public goods and uh, deployment, deploying a comments. So yeah. Uh, so please submit your nomination video as it's required so you can reach out to me uh, if you have any questions regarding it uh, uh, finally i can say about uh, the content for twitter uh, we have been working for a twitter campaign and shared multiple resources uh, covering uh, region focused initiatives projects so uh, feel free to follow our twitter channel and now linkedin is now active and you can follow us there as well for more updates um, so yeah i will pass back to you griff Oh, thank you so much, Osama. Uh, wow. Well, as always, at the end of these calls, you know, there's we get all the credit. But uh, honestly, we are a huge community. And I just want to write one more thing so I don't forget um, on Osama's praise. But, uh, but there, we're a huge community. And there are so many people that contribute to this. And we get all the credit because our faces are on screen. But, um, but I want to start off by praising RAF for the amazing legal support. We couldn't have made all the changes to the trusted seed without you. I want to praise Coach B also for all the legal support and the help that getting the uh, uh, the trusted seed association in the, the common stack association into a good place so we can turn it into the trusted seed association. I want to praise Jeff and Chris for being on, amazing board members of the trusted seed. I want to praise Zargum as well for being an incredible advisor to the trusted seed and giving and all three of them for giving us the time in the association board meetings. Thank you guys so much. Uh, praise, I want to pray, we got to praise the entire TEC fam in Amsterdam. That's Chewy, Zeptimus, Heather, Angela, Wonka, Dan, Jeremy, Nelson, Sam, Pablo, Nuggin, and Escanore. Uh, amazing work. I think Lean's there too. There's, there's just so many people hanging out in Amsterdam and promoting uh, the Common Stack mission. Uh, praise Rodri for the great graphic support, uh, making our slide deck so beautiful. Praise Inga and Felipe for, and all the other organizers of the Dallas Global uh, governance gathering. It was an incredible event. Uh, praise Kevin Owaki and Simona Pop for organizing and all the other organizers of the Shelling Point. Another incredible event. And also praise to all the organizers of DevConnect. I don't know who you guys are, but you guys rock and uh, everyone built these awesome side conferences around your work. Uh, praise Nate for making everyone's world brighter in the TEC, sharing his newborn baby Kepler with us. Uh, Brian's everybody's day. Praise Nate and Ann and Brody for the great work pushing forward the case studies. Praise Bye Bye B for the incredible work with the new praise bot and all the bot work that he's doing behind the scenes, the Twitter bot, the meetings bot. 
uh, praise Christopher for uh, overall coordination of the new reward system process and just for being an incredible leader. Praise Mitch for taking on stewardship of the rewards working group, also being an incredible cat herder and leader uh, behind the scenes. Uh, also praise Mitch for recruiting and onboarding so many people into the quantification pool and being a, a great manager of that whole process. Praise Maddie G for rising out of the community and taking the lead dev role for the reward system, always pushing innovative solutions uh, for all of our development issues. Uh, always get incredible feedback on Maddie G's work. Uh, praise Nebs for all the back end work and jumping into all the problems that we have uh, in the praise system. Praise Nuggin for the incredible work on the RAD dashboard and really taking the flag and uh, carrying that home. And praise Z-Way for jumping into the RAD dashboard and bringing her expertise in to help us make it a product and make it even more robust with her PhD level um, data science skills. Uh, also praise to, to Jiwei for going deep in the quantifiers of disagreements and, and sharing all with that epic uh, forum post. Praise Al Jean for transcribing all this praise that I'm ranting about. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. Good luck. Uh, praise Wonka for the incredible talk uh, that he gave in uh, and the AMA uh, that they that they did with uh, for Gravity Dow. And also praise Wonka, Lean, and Jeremy and the whole Gravity Dow community for all their work in bringing awareness to conflict transformation in the Dow space and being on the ground in Amsterdam. Uh, praise Heater for pushing the CAD CAD community forward. And, uh, and getting a good proposal out into the TEC. And also praise Chewy and the whole HubSpot team for all the marketing work that they do in the TEC. Uh, praise Ravati, Lauren, Kevin Seagraves, and MS for sharing their perspectives on the concept of turning DGENs into regens in our AMA this week. Uh, praise Enti, Zefti, and Ratio for all the work in bringing transparency to the first commons. Uh, praise Efra for making that transparency audit that these other guys are working on. So beautiful and, uh, and something that people want to read never seen such a beautiful transparency on it. Uh, praise Santi, Sean, Marina, Anya, and Pablo for the great support in setting up all the legal structure that supports the TEC right now. Uh, praise Sam for taking care of Maria while she is sick at the Giveth House. And praise Franco, Lorelai, and Dan for their stewardship of the Giveth House in Barcelona. Uh, praise Christopher, RB, Rodri, and, and Keshi for the new TS Swag Shop coming soon. Very exciting, but lots of progress this week. Uh, praise Rodri for designing the new swag for the Trusted Seed. Also praise Rodri for designing the Early Seed Po apps. Don't forget, you want to get that Early Seed Po app, only 50 people get it, and it's beautiful. Uh, praise Rochelle for her support with travel arrangements, reimbursements, and all, all this stuff uh, around Amsterdam. Praise Skylar, Huichi, and the entire ETH Global team for organizing an awesome hackathon in, uh, in Amsterdam. And praise Kevin Owaki and Ali Borda for authoring the book Impact DAOs and including the common stack T and TEC and give it into the impact DAOs map. Uh, praise all the members of the Trusted Seed who have come to say hi to us while we're there. Uh, not to me personally, but it's, it's always nice to feel the community uh, be binding together. Uh, praise Daryl and Jean for the awesome ideas that they have on improving our engagement inside of our community and the common stack community. And praise Roek and Miguel for inviting the Trusted Seed Gardeners into the One Hive TV radio interview and making the common stack mission more accessible to the Spanish speaking community. Uh, major accessibility wins right there, it was great. Uh, praise Roger for his work in creating all the illustrations for the ABC article. And also praise T, uh, TB for the constructive feedback on the new content pieces. And also praise Akene for all the work that he did in getting us a LinkedIn following and building that, building that system up. Uh, and praise you for listening to all that. Oh my God, it's a, it's like a stream of, of gratitude and it's a lot. So thank you all for uh, coming to our 37th review call and I uh, can't wait for 38.